Michael Loge, and welcome. Uh, I'm the author of two books, the best-selling book, Law of Attraction and Law of Connection. And uh, I'm also the facilitator. I'm the trainer's trainer for trainers that want to become awesome, effective Law of Attraction facilitators. I offer a certified Law of Attraction facilitator program. This series is to spotlight and showcase very successful Law of Attraction trainers that have been applying the material since learning it and doing seminars. I'm really excited today to bring to you two very special ladies from Hong Kong, Julie Chu and Sylvia Chan. They came to Malaysia when I offered the certification program in Malaysia, and they went back to Hong Kong, and they are going concerned. They've got lots going on. So stay tuned. I'm about to interview Julie and Sylvia and hear how they're changing the vibration in Hong Kong. Thanks for joining me. Hello, Sylvia and Julie. It's so nice to uh, be with you today. Thanks for joining me. Say hello to our friends watching. Hello. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi everyone. And tell who's who. I'm Sylvia. I'm Julie. Yes, I'm so <laughs> and proud. And we're from yes, Hong I'm Kong. So, <laughs> yes, the Hong Kong ladies. Uh, I was so delighted to have you join me last year in Kuala Lumpur for the certification. You both came from Hong Kong, very eager and uh, been knew about me somehow. So that's how I'd like to start and find out. I'd like to hear with each of you. And we'll start with Julie. How did you come to know about me or my book? I mean, you know, I'd like to, I always like to know the history, how we got connected the first time. So to tell us about that. Well, I read and read the book The Secret and saw the movie in the U.S. Yeah. And then when we moved here to Hong Kong at the end of uh, December '08, uh, a girlfriend of mine, I was talking to her about Law of Attraction, and she said, oh, I have this book um, written by Michael Lozier. Have you he heard of it? And I said, no. And so she introduced me to the book. And actually, Sylvia has the exact same copy. It looked like this. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, most people aren't used to so, seeing that cover. Yes. And so I read it, was blown away by it, and a couple months later, or about half a year later, I was just randomly Googling you on the internet and found your um, Law of Attraction facilitator course, and I said, oh, you know, I love learning, and I said, this is a great opportunity, and I actually asked my friend who loaned me the book to come with me, but she was unavailable at the time, and I recently met... Sylvia through our Law of Attraction meetup group okay. and I said, Sylvia, I'm going to this program in Malaysia. It's not too far away and it's coming up soon. Would you like to come with me? And, you know, we ended up going together and yes. That was, and she said, mm. I am in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, thanks. so Sylvia, tell me what your, how did you first, you and I first connect? Um, through Julie, actually. Uh, but I actually run a Law of Attraction meetup group in Hong Kong. Okay. Uh, I became the organizer by coincidence. I think I attracted it yeah. <laughs> into my life because uh, the previous uh, organizer was uh, going away back to UK for the Law of Attraction meetup group. So the meetup group, um, they already have uh, about 100 members nice. you know, at that time. Yeah. And if no one take up as the organizer, the meetup group would disappear. So something stirred in me and I was like, mm -hmm. okay, let me do it. And uh, I didn't know, I mean, I read The Secret and uh, I am very intrigued by Law of Attraction. So I start running the group and then I met Julie there. Nice. And when she told me there is a, a facilitator uh, course coming up, I'm like, Cool, you know, let's all go to Malaysia and learn about it. <laughs> and eat. <laughs> let's all go to Malaysia and eat and do the certification. I, I sure, though, the, the course was amazing. It's not just, you just don't learn about law of attraction or how to teach law of attraction yeah. to other people, but you also learn how NL, important NLP techniques and the things that we learned from your classes. Um, not we learned how to present well. We learned, you know, we I've, we've both taken presentation skills classes yeah. since your class, and a lot of the things we've learned in those classes we've already learned from you. So nice. um, I think I thought your training class was very comprehensive. Well, thank you. We went over well, one of the started. things that that's pretty unique about my program is the accelerated learning techniques, and you know, particularly Excellent. teaching adults. You know, you just can't lecture to them. You know, we they we're done with yeah. that. So 
really how to get us engaged. So I was going to ask you what you thought of the facilitator program, and I think you just answered my question. So thanks for doing that. So I've been and uh, I mean, it, it's very simple as well. And the techniques that you taught during the class are so simple and applicable in a lot of situations. So I found myself doing uh, a much better presentation in general, not yeah. just, not just uh, teaching law on law of attraction, yeah. but on other things as well. It's like really spot on. And yeah, we were mm -hmm. people were quite impressed by our knowledge uh, on presentation during that presentation course. Yes. So uh, yeah, absolutely, we have a very good teacher. Yeah. They thought we were pretty advanced already, and we learned all that from your your presentation. Well, I remember promising everybody that your first presentation will be my fiftieth one. Ooh. I didn't come out of the gate in good shape like you guys would, right? So I, I took 50, and, and I've done thousands, and then when you guys left, you were pretty ready. So I've been following you both on Facebook. I, I see you doing Law of Attraction introductory presentations in Hong Kong. I know you're doing coaching. I'd like to hear some of the compliments you're getting because that's a real testimony of your, of your ability and your success. So, Julie, why don't you tell us about what kind of compliments you receive from people? We've been getting um, compliments like, it's very simple, very intuitive, easy to apply. Um, that uh, We've noticed here in Hong Kong a lot of people who come from a, a mindset that, I guess the best basic way to describe it is a negative mindset. Right. And they it opened their eyes to think that the way they think about themselves causes their vibes to be a certain way. And by being aware of that and us helping them change that, they're open to new experiences and to new opportunities that they're really looking for. Wow, that's a compliment. And, uh, uh, yeah, we, we do the uh, introduction course as well as the three step to deliberate attraction. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people just, they wouldn't leave. At the end of the yeah. of the course, and they keep talking it's like, it's like, oh, and wanting to talk more. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they, we we got a lot of feedback that you know it's so simple and easy to understand, yeah. but it's it's too simple. Like you know, they they never thought of it before. Almost yeah. when they said that it's simple, they just apply it on a day to day basis. Yes. They could really see them applying right. it. At the when, end of the day. Yeah, when they say it's simple, what they really, because sometimes I thought, well, it's not simple, but I made it simple, right? So yes. it's a compliment that you did a good job, because it's really not, I mean, the process is simple, but explaining it isn't. But that's what we, we're trained to do. I can explain it. So, oh, this is simple. It's like, yeah, well, tell that to the people that read other books that thought it was complicated. Yes. And that's part of the gift of doing that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you, I know you're doing public, you know, you have your Law of Attraction meetup group, I know you're doing introductory presentations, so uh, companies or corporations that want to introduce this to their staff, that's another opportunity you would go into somebody's workplace and do this introductory presentation so they get a real feel, and then from there they could decide if they want to attend, you know, your full day seminars or your evening seminars, and yeah, well that's good, I like that whole model about giving people, you know, going to the workplace, doing it, and Canada, we call them brown bag sessions, like a, <laughs> like a lunch bag. You know, I guess yeah. in, I guess in uh, India they would call them tippin sessions. Tippin. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce that tippin? You know, the tippin. lunch, the tippin lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, the little, uh, so we have brown bag lunches, so they'd have tippin yeah. lunch, a lunch mm -hmm. hour special. We'll be having a uh, rice bowl. Yeah. Rice yes. bowl. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to hear about um, how, what you've been doing. You know, one, there's one thing to teach law of attraction. If you remember during the training, I would always say you can only teach what you know. So I'm, yep. I understand that you're using law of attraction to build your law of attraction business, which feels like a loop within itself. So how are you using law of attraction to build your business? Well, we're using it to connect with the ideal clients that we're looking for the ideal connections we're looking for. Um, we're, we just, uh, and to create the opportunities that are abound. We, we really, not that, I think using Law of Attraction in our own lives, it really presents a lot of opportunities that I think we wouldn't have had uh, without even learning this and, and knowing that we could apply it in our own lives and seeing it work in our own lives just proves to the 
to the fact that what you taught us really works. Yeah. I remember during the training, everyone always says, well, where am I going to get to speak in front of people? How do I do that? And I just say, you just need to get a couple. Just, you know, you're yes. going to have to research and tap an audience. Just get a couple. And before you know it, there's somebody that says, oh, would you come talk to my workplace or come talk to my group? So are you finding that people are coming forth to kind of create opportunities? Yes. Actually, um, it was funny. Uh, my first Chinese Law of Attraction workshop. Yes, that was exciting. First it time was time. requested by my Chinese medicine doctor ah. because he was asking me, um, you, you seems to look a bit different. I say, oh yeah, I just came back from Malaysia. He said, what did you do there? I said, I, I went to a Law of Attraction facilitator training. Wow. And they're like, what is Law of Attraction? I start talking about it and say, do you do courses on that? I said, yes, we do. But, you know, he's a Chinese doctor, so his English is not, you know, very good. Yeah. So he preferred Chinese. And, um, and then he asked, can you do a Chinese course? Maybe I'll bring my friend as well. Wow. And I said, okay. That started the planning. And then uh, a couple of friends, you know, on Facebook that I have, hooked up and uh, they came along as well and um, even someone I, I go to an organic fruit shop you know to buy stuff all the time and um, that lady who works there were also was also interested so she also came along wow, so awesome. by me just telling people that yes I teach law of attraction yeah. they were like okay can I come and learn about it and it was quite amazing Oh, excellent. Now, did all the terms and references translate well into Chinese? Because uh, it took a bit of work. It did. Because I understand, yeah. like in English, we talk about don't, not, and no. And I, I heard somewhere that in Chin Chinese, they don't really use those three particular words. Um, it's, uh, it's similar, it's like nice. mho, like don't, like mho. Okay. Or, or in Mandarin Chinese, like uh, buyao. Okay, so the, the, it was translatable then. It, it's translatable. Mm -hmm. It's not, yeah. That that was the a bit of work. So it's not uh, just don't not know so simple. Yeah. I have to do a little bit of, uh, for example, in it, you uh -huh. know, for them to fully grasp the idea. But it's absolutely manageable, and they love the idea. Yeah. And then you took the worksheets and made them. Yeah. So now you have a set of Chinese worksheets. Yes, I do have a set of Chinese worksheets. <laughs> yes, Sylvia is the only Chinese speaking or Cantonese speaking law of attraction facilitator. I know, it's exciting. I'm so proud of that. And you probably saw my friend David Termini from Italy. He's the only Italian yes. one. And then, you know, I've got people in Australia and New Zealand and uh, nine countries in total. It's very exciting for me. <laughs> Sometimes the publisher sends me copies of books in other languages. <laughs> Yeah. First, I don't oh, know yeah. the language. Oh, yeah, Chinese one. Yes, that one there. I don't even think my name's on it in Chinese. That's a beautiful cover on that one, too. Uh, it's uh, kind of translated in Chinese here. Okay, yes. Yeah. But, uh, you can see the J. Yeah, the you can see the J. <laughs> they couldn't translate the oh, J. Oh, that's Michael you, know? <laughs> you can see the J. Well, you can. Nice. See? Look. Yeah. It's right here. Right here. Oh, that's There's funny. Jay. <laughs> so it, it's saying. <laughs> Maybe J doesn't uh, translate to a little Chinese house. Ma Ho J Lo Sai Yi. Wow. So it, it kind of rhymes with your English name. Okay. They did their best, I think. <laughs> Have you, uh, first I'm going to tell you a project that I'm coming up and I want to hear about your project. Did you know that I'm in the process of writing my next, my next book? Yes, yes, we're looking forward to it. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very exciting. It's called Fulfillment Needs, and um, I've been doing teleclasses on the subject, really flushing out the material. You know, it's one of those things that yes. I can help my friends do in a coffee shop. Even when I was in Malaysia, um, Siva, he, you know, he would drive me yep. around, and we would do it in the car, and I would write stuff, and I would interview him, and, and they said, you know what, you've got, to, you've got to put this into a book. And I said, well, <laughs> I know how to talk to you in a coffee shop, Yep. But, so now I'm making it into self-help, which means I need to be able to do it myself. So yeah. I'm kind of reworking all the tools and everything, so it's very, very right. exciting. And of course, I'm it'll be... I'm much looking forward to it. <laughs> When's it coming out? Well, I'm going to write it all of 2012, 2011, and 2012. 
the way I delivered my first two books to the publisher, they made zero changes. Zero. So I deliver my you work did. in really, really good shape, including, you know, you put this on this page, everything. They have to put it in their own software. And that cuts the process down by many months. You know, if they, some authors send it in, you know, a big Word document, and there's yeah, lots of yeah. work. And everything in my work is all designed for the student how it's laid out and where the pictures are and where there's white space. That's really important for accelerated learning. Yeah. So, uh, so it's, I'm pretty excited. And I've, in Malaysia, I'm going to be doing a three-hour seminar on the subject. So it'll be the first time I'm doing a seminar on, in that, in Malaysia. Yeah, maybe next time you can come to Hong Kong as well. Well, soon. You never know. I'm open to that. You know, my ideal life is that I travel... Uh, like one week a month and then stay in beautiful Victoria for three. Mm. And so far, looking, I've, I've got that done about five months this year and it works out really nice. It's a nice balance for me. So tell me about something that you guys are developing. I know you have, uh, you're doing your uh, introductory present. So tell me the levels of the seminars that you're doing. Okay, we have the introductory, mm -hmm. uh, which is the, the part one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, part one. Part one: how to attract, stop attracting the things you don't want. Okay, that's the, that's you know, been, and no one's very, and by the way, no one's teaching that, right? <laughs> most, most people are talking, teaching you how to attract money and all that other stuff. But part one says, well, let's get rid of the negative stuff first. So the introductory mm -hmm. presentation: here's how to stop attracting negative stuff. So you're doing yep. that, and do you do that for free for some groups? Yes, we do, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we actually uh, start uh, doing that before our uh, Law of Attraction Meetup gathering. Uh -huh. So people come in, they're already absolutely interested in Law of Attraction yeah. to start with. And if they haven't heard the part one, um, they just come like half an hour earlier. Oh, that's a brilliant and idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you know everything works out really well, nice. and then we also do the three-hour, um, three-step to deliberate attraction. Yes, we do that as well. So that's but a three-hour seminar. Something yeah. Really yes. exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, full, we're day full day seminars. Full day seminars. The full day seminar, very nice. I love the idea of doing because I know in some spiritual centers, if if you want to meditate. You go a half hour early, so it's for meditation, and then the service starts at, on top of the hour. And I've spoken at many, you know, spiritual centers and positive living centers, and that's always people go early for one event if they want it, but the real program. So, so it gives you guys an opportunity to practice your craft again over and over. Exactly. Again. Yeah. So you'll go someplace. Uh, well, I'm, uh, uh, tell me what your website address is. It's www. L O A dash H K. Okay. LA-HK.com. Uh, I'll let people know about that as well. So you'll do free introductory presentations for groups. You'll go to, yes. you know. And I, know, I know in Victoria, there's probably meetings four times a day in this city for some somebody's meeting with the group, whether it's a sales team or it's a networking group or it's a mm -hmm. chamber of commerce meeting. So lots of people need speakers, and you two would be perfect for that. So uh, you and then you've got your three-hour seminar, and then you've got your full-day seminar. Tell us about the area that you're in for your Hong Kong friends that are watching. Well, we basically uh, do it in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is not a huge place, so... Uh, There's wherever... basically three areas in Hong Kong. There's Hong Kong Island, Kowloon, and New Territories. Okay. And so New Territories the... is the closest to China. China, yeah. So, so they're not too far away that you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to go to other it's cities. It's within... 45 minutes to an hour, wow, that's and so it's, it's really yeah. accessible. So yes. It's not like Los Angeles where everything is far, no. far apart. <laughs> no. yeah, all, 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 all our English-speaking seminars are in Hong Kong Island, Yeah. Um, but we're also open to offering it elsewhere, and I think your Chinese... Yeah, my Chinese one, I did mm -hmm. it in Kowloon Sai. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, on my, I'm going to Malaysia in October, and um, I'm flying China Airlines, so... <laughs> hmm. yeah. And if I came to China, I'd, it, it, would just be for a, it would be just for a visit and to eat. And I'm sure, I'm Absolutely. Sure, yes. I'm sure I, I found a source for red velvet cake, so oh, I've actually, actually reason for you to come here to well, Hong Kong. I actually gave it up, but I'd be willing to have a piece in Hong Kong. I used <laughs> EFT to remove my cravings for. So last time I went to Phoenix, my friend picked me up at the airport, and he thought he was doing me a big favor. Well, he did, and we brought, brought me right to the Red Velvet Cake restaurant, and I ate about three quarters of it, and I didn't finish it. And I promise you, I have never not wow. finished 
a cake in my life, and I. So, but we can make good. an exception. That's really good. Oh, good. Is there anything that I haven't asked you that you wanted me to? Mm. When are you coming? <laughs> well, I'd love to come. You know, as you know, it's a big effort to make to make that happen. So, I, so maybe for you know, in transit to Malaysia would be a good visit. You yes. know, but to come for a seminar that takes a lot more work and. You know, I think Derek and my friends in Malaysia would have to get involved in that. But I'm going to check my flight path and to see, because right now I go from Vancouver to Taipei, and then Taipei yeah. to Kuala Lumpur. So, so what, you what can path go would you suggest? Vancouver to Hong Kong and then to Kuala Lumpur. So I'm just going to write that down. So Vancouver to Hong Kong. Yeah, that's a very popular flight. A lot of Hong Kong Hong Kongers go back and forth between What's, Vancouver and Hong Kong. Oh, great. And then, then I can go from Vancouver, uh, Hong Kong to KL. To Kuala Lumpur. Good. Okay, well, thank you very much. It's been a delight. Congratulations on your success. I'm so proud of you. And when I brag about training people from all over the world, I always mention you, too. Uh, thank you so much for your support, too. Your monthly yeah. calls, and you support us so much. I don't Thanks. think we would have been as successful without your support. So well, Absolutely. We really appreciate that as well. Good. I'm continuing to support your success as well. Well, thank you very much. It was a delight for me to interview you today. Thanks a lot, Michael. Bye-bye. Thank you, Michael.